tap the screen and shed alive. Yeah, hi guys. Ready for your weekly roundup of all the shit things I did this week. It's been a belter, hasn't it? Let's begin. On Monday I appeared in Daddy's kitchen, fully ready for a morning of begging. I had an obnoxious and arrogant attitude, saying I was better than everyone and that I will be the two-pack of TikTok one day. Before I began repeating myself for the week, I decided to improve my public image. Firstly, I insulted everyone watching, saying everyone had mummy issues. I then said that everyone was ugly. I then proceeded to go into a childish rage because someone dared to question my demand for people to be blocked. And I ran to tell my daddy of the big boys hurting my feelings, and was told to fuck off. I then mocked a girl's physical appearance, and then called Chef Dave a sap. My comment section was advising me that I was perhaps taking the wrong approach and that my behavior was abusive, but I said everything was fine because I had been gifted by a Saudi Arabian princess. Surprisingly, I received some gifts and at 11.30 I declared I would stay online until I entered the weekly rankings, but 20 minutes later I said I was tired and I came off at 12 after taking a phone call, probably from Tuna, telling me off for my abusive behavior. Tuesday morning I was in my full-on beggar mode. It was the standard begging really, with the only thing to note being I changed the line I repeated all morning, from tap the screen to everyone send roses. I rubbed my head a lot in the last hour, before going to London to scream and spin in circles, and the police paid me a visit and put me in handcuffs while searching for any weapons. Surprisingly, I didn't declare a massive complaint was incoming, but instead said I will one day be the biggest creator on TikTok, proving to everyone that I still misunderstand and mislabel my own profession. And in the evening I tried to repeat myself, but was too tired and I fell asleep. Moving into Wednesday, I spent the whole morning begging for your money. Broken down into two halves, I spent the first few hours cutting people from battles who didn't obey my petty demands and calling people sad for having a different language to me and who happened to be indoors while dueling. I said one guy had to be single, judging him on God knows what criteria and completely forgetting that my girlfriend is Tuna and that if he was single, he was much better off than me. And then, the second half of my morning, I exhibited a weird self-appreciating mood, where I lied to everyone by saying I was a strong person, and I have something deep inside me that makes me a warrior, even though we all know better and have seen him shake behind police officers and scream for help, when the smallest thing happens. In the afternoon I screamed and span in circles in Downing Street, and aside from the usual nonsense and embarrassing dancing, showing I don't even know what dancing is, I felt confident to shout my feelings that the government doesn't care about Palestine. And I'm not sure where you all stand on your feelings on this conflict, I'm almost certain Kevin couldn't pick Palestine out on a map, or understand the historical reasons needed to decide which side you would stand on, let alone care enough for anyone but himself to watch a world news channel. And I finished up the day on daddy's sofa, repeating myself, trying to take your money. Thursday morning, I came live from daddy's kitchen and had some big important news to share, in that I was now selling a new series of videos, where I would be helping people learn how to become big on TikTok. And of course, I didn't just tell people about the news, I told it on repeat, for most of the morning. How amazing was the idea that I believe I am actually successful on TikTok, and that my advice actually has value. Hold on, guys, let me get sorted here. Right, let's get back to Thursday. If you ignore the fact my presence on TikTok has been in a slow and constant decline over the years, and that I have achieved absolutely nothing, apart for the award of the most hated person, and that I have no ideas at all how to deliver interesting viewing, and you decide to pay nearly five pounds to hear a 38 second clip of me telling people to hold a speaker to their ear and scream in the street, then I am sure you will get value for money. It's one clip a week guys, yes, five pounds per week, so stay tuned when next week I'll tell you all to repeat yourself all day long, because everyone loves hearing one sentence said over and over, for months on end. 
My comment section provided me with some very informative feedback immediately, in the form of clown faces, which I disapproved of, and after blocking them and calling them trolls, I let it be known that they are irrelevant anyway and probably can't even go live. And I gave up watching him at this point, after he spent the rest of the morning repeating himself. And I've had enough of hearing the fucking phrase tap the screen. So that's your lot for the week, my toasters. I hope you enjoyed reliving the moment Dave smashed Kevin on the beach. See you all next week.